what we're doing is basically taking uh, imagery from unmanned vehicles, uh, pictures, we take pictures over areas that we've been tasked to fly. Uh, we get these pictures in a raw format and then we basically uh, stitch those together and from that we get what's called a georectified uh, overall view of all the images. And what that means is that you can zoom in on these views and if you see something of interest or an area of interest, each pixel in this image is georectified. That means we can provide a GPS coordinate to that pixel. So if you see something of interest, we can say, hey, you can go look here and we can provide exact GPS coordinates to that. Also out of this model comes uh, terrain data, uh, such as this. So not only do we get the 3D um, representation, but the terrain data so that now um, we can provide what's the real terrain to the, the SAR folks who are actually searching in, in the woods. Um, but then we can also fly our unmanned vehicles in specific routes down drainage uh, areas um, if we need to and fly really low to the tree level to get high resolution imagery. And again, provide that back to uh, command or whoever needs that to see what's there. Um, and ultimately that's a result of what we are doing right now. We're also capable of taking thermal imagery, um, but that's usually better at nighttime. It doesn't seem very well through clouds and water. Um, now, we are, this is our first actual response to an emergency like this. Um, primarily, we're a research organization. And so for us, while we are providing the resources that we have to the search effort, we're also learning how can we improve this in the, in the future and make it more efficient so that we can get data to uh, the searchers in a faster, more responsive way. So it's a learning effort for us while we're also providing a resource to the, uh, the searchers. Mm -hmm.